Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share um, a big haul. Um, it's from several different sources. I went to the Victoria Marie Scrapbook Retreat in August 2019 and during that retreat we received a swag bag just full of goodies. Uh, in that was this little card from Victoria Marie. And I'll show you the uh, products that came in the swag bag. She went way overboard. She spoiled us big time. Um, we got this set of uh, pocket page cards from L Studio from the Noteworthy Collection. There's 10 cards. This uh, Victoria Marie Life Documented Stamp, and it is the Ink Road Stamps is the company. I think they created it with her um, for as a product line for her. This set of Nouveau Alcohol Markers in Stormy Gray. So there's three shades, light, medium, and dark of these three. Uh, this uh, Tonic Studio Fairy Lily uh, die, die. This Nouveau Glitter Marker in Sweet Apricot. It looks very coppery in there, but when you look at the edge here, it looks very uh, apricotty, very pretty. This set of Nouveau um, Crystal Drops in this lovely blue shade. And this is one of those um, soft plastic bottles. It doesn't feel like the firmer kind. This one is very soft. A Traveler's Notebook. Um, this may be from Felicity Jane. I'm not sure. There's some Felicity Jane embellishments. Um, this package of ampersands and this uh, package of puffy border stickers, both from Felicity Jane. Amberline. This Traveler's uh, dot grid notebook or cross grid notebook. You can see it doesn't have little dots in it. It has little crosses or plus signs, whichever you want to call. It'd be great for making lines or squares or whatever. And it's bigger than the standard traveler's notebook. So you can see it's about the same length, but it's probably got about three quarters of an inch there. And then finally, this stamp set from the Hedgehog Hollow. Um, and it has a multitude of sentiments on here that you can create your own stamp or journaling even. So there's that. So she really... Um, spoiled us with the goodies this year. Um, I did some spending while I was there. We went to, or let me show you what else I got from the Victoria Marie crop. At the crop there was a freebie table and so on that table was this blank thanks card. So pretty. Um, I just thought that was lovely. If I don't use it as a card to give somebody, I will use it to recreate my own card similar to that. I got this set of Christmas um, Wishes Project Life Embellishments. It's the 3x4 and the 4x6 cards, as well as embellishments. Um, and it was on the Do Not Want table. I couldn't believe that. Uh, as was this Halloween paper pad by Jolie's Boutique which is EK Success brand. I don't know if any are missing out of here, but if it doesn't matter, whatever's left, I'm gonna try and make some cards with. Um, I also got another Halloween pad. This one is called Spooky Night by Die Cuts with a View, and I think this one, it still has the, um, oh, the what you call it, the plastic tape on the side, as did the other one by the Jolie's one. Oh, this one has die cuts in it as well, nice. So, you can see, very cute designs, front and back, and I think these will work perfectly for cards for my grandies. So that'll be fun. I got this set of uh, Freckled Fawn letter tiles. They are mint with the turquoise letters. And this set, I don't know who the company was. They're just in one of those little um, Avery L sleeves, and it is uh, gold glitter, or gold. Um, red glitter alphabet tiles. I got this uh, painted petals six by six paper stack. And I don't know if it's all here or not, um, but I'm gonna try and get some cards made out of it. That may be in one of my um, one kit 12 cards uh, videos coming up soon. There were these two uh, sticker sheets from Teresa Collins. This one is Project Pink and this one is Collector's Edition. And off these, only like a portion of the sticker was gone. Otherwise, the rest are intact. And then my sister, that was everything. Oh, one roll of tape here. Um, washi tape. Let me flip that so you can see that the, it is 
um, mint green or light blue turquoise and then um, oh not neon green but a really bright green I got all of that all off of the do not want table at the crop so I plan to get some of that used up soon also while I was there my sister came and she brought me three paper pads now this one I have I have I had just bought it and split it and gave her half of it and then she turned around and gave me the half that she just purchased of this same one right back she had texted me and told me not to buy it but then I forgot and I bought it anyway so this will probably be going back to the Victoria Marie retreat next time this set called navy florals also die cut with a view um, half the paper stack is here very pretty paper and die cuts this one is butterflies and flowers again die cut with a view and I believe yeah cut aparts and pattern double-sided pattern papers so all of those were from my sister. All three of these were. I had a couple of packages waiting for me. This one is from Stamps of Life. It is this month's stamp and die of the month. And it is this, what is it called? Tropical Flower Dies. So it's got these flowers and sentiments and these die cuts. And then she threw in for members, club members, this additional one that has a toucan on it. Um, and it says, toucan, party better than one, do it two can do it uh, this high sentiment and a flower with a little uh, pollen spore thing on the inside so those and then I got here and I got a set of freckled fawn embellishments for this month uh, this is the August 2019 set as is this the August 2019 the wood veneer pencils the um, enamel uh, dots these label stickers, these washi strips, it looks like back to school theme, doesn't it? And then these red tile letters. And then I also had another set or another package from Freckled, Freckled Fawn that had just the letter tiles in it. So I don't know if maybe there was something wrong with this one and they set, sent a replacement. I don't know. Um, but I'll, I'll let you know if there's something wrong with these. It doesn't look like there is, but yeah, you never know. So that's what I had, a couple of the things I had waiting on me when I got home. Now, I did go shopping the last couple of weeks, and I've picked up a little bit here, and I've picked up a little bit there. Um, and I did quite a big purchase when I was in uh, Weatherford for the retreat, Um I went to the Tuesday morning there and they had such cool stuff. The first thing I bought was this glass mat from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. Um, and it was 10 bucks. and I thought for that, I can't beat that. Yeah, I'll put that to good use on my craft table. So that's fun. I got a couple of paper pads. Because I started working um, with some older photos of my husband and his brothers, I got this paper pad with a really old collection in it, the Lost and Found Breeze collection. They have just reprinted this one, redistributed it. Um, and these are heavy duty, one-sided. I say heavy duty. They're not like the cardstock that you get when you buy the single sheets, but they are pretty firm. Um, the glitter is not the kind that... Uh, stays firm down this does like the old my mind's eye it does flake up some but this was probably my favorite all time of ever paper pad by my mind's eye and so I was glad to see it again and I hope to get some use out of it um, yeah because I think it'll really go with those retro fo photos and I'll probably split this with my sister I know I will. I think I got this in my hometown before I even went to um, Weatherford to the retreat. I just left it in at home. I didn't take it with me or anything. This is another one that I just recently purchased. I can't remember if it was right before or uh, a couple of weeks ago that I got it. Um, but it has some really cute Halloween stuff. I just cleaned out a lot of my Halloween papers and such um, when I was sorting paper recently. Um, yeah, and so this will be fun to create cards and some layouts with, and I'll go through, and both of these paper packs I will probably split with my sister. My sister ended up buying 
um, some of these Heidi Swap Color Shine um, inks. She bought accidentally two packages of these, and so she gave me one, which is pretty cool. I'll somehow or another get them used up. And then she went to Tuesday morning while we were there and bought like four or five packs of these Mr. Huey's um, inks while we were there. And I've got like one or two Mr. Huey's, but not a whole lot of them. Um, but these were duplicates that she had. This one is navy blue. This one is shell colored. And this one is classic tan. So those will go into my stash as well. Some of this stuff is uh, Hobby Lobby as well as Tuesday morning. These two things I got from Tuesday morning. One is red, one is turquoise. And it's just something you attach to your clipboard or to your uh, planner whatever and it's something to hold your cell phone to hold your extra pins to hold your charger cords something if you have just a flat surface and you don't have a lot of room to carry things this will help with that and it shows an image of how it's being used on the back and i actually bought one as a gift for a friend um i got this set from tuesday morning um and it's just santa stamps santa and friends from bow bunny this one with just doodle blooms this set of stickers um, from pink paisley and it's from spellcast this set from bootyful night american crafts and that's got those holographic um, stickers on there this set of thickers from it doesn't have a name on there anyway um, super cute this set of dies from Momenta and their ABCs and that's what they look like their um, capital letters this set of uh, bookmarks from American Crafts this set of brads from uh, Bow Bunny this set of stamps from Bow Bunny and their forest friends this set of bows from Love and Lemon this set of bookmarks from American Crafts. This set of die cuts from Dear Lizzie. It just says gold foil. It doesn't say what the line was. But it's okay. Um, and this set of magnetic bookmarks from American Crafts. A couple packs of brads in blue and in orange. Both of those are American Crafts. This set of Heidi Swap Storyline um, for embellishment, I think, in 3x4 or 4x6 or just along with your scrapbook pages. This uh, is, this one was Little Moments. This is Every Day. This is Wedding. And this is Baby. So I'm going to have lots of fun embellishments. This set of Bow Bunny layered chipboard. This set of Happy Day stickers. This set of Clearly Kelly stamp on the go. These are planner stamps and they are uh, university or school themed. These set are uh, like date night movie, uh, mo uh, yeah, TV watching, um, yeah, TV planner it's called. This is a um traveler notebook holder uh, by crate paper and it's got a couple of the travelers one blank and one dot grid on the inside this set of love and lemon paper bows this set of jolie's boutique halloween stickers this set of pebbles acrylic stamps and halloween theme these spell cut spell cast die cuts from pink paisley this set of jelly's boutique um they're like headers or titles this set from clearly kelly stamps and it's all about nighttime um and it's called night on the label here it's called kelly's good night clear bow bunny um chipboard stickers more of those more chipboard stickers and more chipboard stickers this set of 
Happy Thoughts uh, desk pad. This Halloween uh, doilies with spiderweb doilies. This set of um, Bow Bunny Bling. These were actually from the retreat. Just some different uh, cards from different lines that someone had put in their Do Not Want pile on the Do Not Want table. So I collected those and brought them home. Another set of the Bow Bunny Bling. These cute little uh, enamel pins by Parcraft Smith. Cynthia Wu is the designer. I did run by Dollar Tree and get a package of clothespins because I have a craft project in mind. Um, I picked up this set of Pebbles Baby Boy accent stickers and there's two sheets. This set of accent stickers, uh, I believe it is Valentine's or Love. This set of Baby Girl, two-sided. This set of American Craft Thickers called Wildflower. This set called uh, Snapshots. This set called Miscellanea. This set called Good Things. This one called Spooky has Halloween phrases. This set of Alpha Tiles, they are black foam with gold on top and they are called Spooktacular. This set of Pebbles accents, it looks like there's an ice cream truck or a taco truck, a coffee, donuts, just everyday living. And a couple of these EK Success foam letter stickers. I think that's it. At Michael's, um, I picked up these four little washi tapes. One is Thursday, Monday, and Saturday, and then the abbreviated days of the week. I picked up a couple of Papermate Ink Gel, Ink Joy Gel Pen 0 0.7 with the quick dry ink. Um, they had, I believe I got these at Target for $5, this limited edition pack of Papermate Flare, and it's the Candy Pop line. They had them on sale for $5. I got three little note sticky note pads. This one says you should probably do these things. This one is my list. Super hot items, warm items, and want to get done, but ha, huh, laugh out loud. Um, at some point, I will, I will accomplish this list. I am a sucker for sticky notes, so all of those I picked up at Tuesday morning or Michael's, Target, Dollar Tree. I mean, I got a little bit of everything and this has been an ongoing thing, so it's been over the last month um, and then the first couple of weeks in um, the first couple of days, not weeks, first couple of days in August that I've done all this shopping for this stuff. So through July and August. And then finally, when I got home, there was another package waiting for me from close to my heart. And in this, I got a couple of inks. I got the Heather, I got the Ballerina, and I got the Lilac, um, along with their re-inkers. I got a paper pack called True Love, and it just, does it just have the paper or does it have the cardstock? Some of their kits come with a few sheets of cardstock. No, this is just the pattern paper. So very cute. I got a packet of, of uh, gold. Looks like cross stitch floss, but a little, little thicker than regular thread, but a little thinner than regular cross stitch floss. So very cute. And then several stamp sets. This one is called Summer Memories. This one is Simply Said Alphabet. This one is a stamp and die set, and it's called Wild and Punny. And this one is... Um, the stamp of the month called Bear Hugs. So that's it, guys. That's everything. I know it was a big haul. Um, thanks for sticking around, and I am officially on a spending freeze for a couple of months. Um, I will pick up a few more things from close to my heart for the month of August. Um, there's a few more new things in the big catalog that I want to get. Um, but then I think after that, I think I'm done until I go back to another Victoria Marie treat, retreat in October.
October um, and I may do some more purchasing then but for the moment I think I've got plenty in the last several months to keep me busy anyway thanks guys see you on the next video bye bye